Hey guys, Wizzy here. Today I want to talk about uh, the Smash Ultimate Wave Dash. Um, basically how you can perform it better and more consistently better. Um, as you guys know, the Wave Dash in Smash Ultimate isn't really like a melee level Wave Dash. It's not really that great. Um, and even if you do practice the timing, like I'm doing it with R right now, jump in R, or you could do jump in L if you prefer that. Um, but I do R, and as you can see, like, I'm getting somewhat inconsistent, uh, wave dash heights, and obviously I could practice it more and whatnot, but, um, either way, like, it's hard to get the most, uh, frame perfect Smash Ultimate wave dash possible, but there is a way, um, to buffer the most frame perfect wave dash possible, and the way to do that, basically, is instead of pressing jump in R or jump in L, those shield buttons, you can uh, do jump in Z. And uh, this this won't work with characters with like Azair, so like Young Link, um, but it will work with uh, pretty much every other character. And some characters, it'll look better than others. So Mario seems pretty decent at least, so I'll do his buffered uh, Smash Ultimate Wave Dash. So it looks like that, and as you can see, this is like probably the most frame perfect uh, Smash Ultimate Wave Dash you could get. It's already looking way better than the one I did earlier with the shield button with R and L. Um, so um, you just you jump and you press Z pretty much at the same time or close to the same time, kind of like a jump cancel grab in Melee if you've done that before. Um, so you basically press jump, then Z during the jump squat. So it's basically next to the same time. Um, and you'll get like basically a frame perfect buffered wave dash most of the time. So this is pretty much the best way to do it. And if you do it out of a dash, you'll go even further. So um, some characters, this, it'll look a lot better than others. So with Mario, it looks pretty decent. So like here, it looks pretty decent. Um, in terms of things you can do out of this, uh, I'm gonna say there's probably not a lot of super practical uses, but just in case you do wanna do this wave dash in ultimate, or you think you found a use for wave dash, but you have trouble consistently performing the fastest possible wave dash, you can now do it pretty easily as long as you jump and press Z instead of R or L. Um, and it, the wave dash is like even better with certain characters with low traction. So at Mario, I'm getting like decent distance on this. Um, so ice climbers have low traction, and um, basically, yeah. So like, look how much better their wave dash looks like even compared to Mario. If you do straight right or straight left, so completely horizontal, you'll also go kind of far. So you could also get some distance just by going straight left or right. And they have low traction, which adds to the distance they get from their wave dash. So um, I think this technique, if you do want to end up wave dashing in ultimate, um, some characters, it'll definitely look way better than others. So here's Ice Climbers. They have Theirs are better looking than maybe every character, or at least most characters. So yeah. Um, so here's Sonic. Um, now nah, it doesn't look bad, I guess, but obviously it's not as good as like Ice Climbers, let's say, or probably not as good as Mario's from what I can see. So some characters wave dash definitely won't be as good as others, but either way, uh, this is the best way to buffer the most perfect wave dash possible. So if that's your goal is to just consistently do the perfect wave dash, this is the technique you'll be wanting to do. So Young Link, he has the Zare, and like I said, all characters with the Zare cannot do it. So, yeah, I'm just showing off that characters with air can't do it. So, yeah. So, I guess if you do play a character with the Zare, uh, and you do want to do the perfect wave dash, this is going to be quite an issue, probably. Because then you're going to have to go back to the old, like, press a shield button. So, uh, I, was, I was trying to think of options you could do out of the wave dash. So, there's wave dash out of shield, which realistically probably isn't your best out of shield options when you have things like let go dash back or let go dash back tilt um let go dash back tilt like that um but let's say you do think it's good or you want to do it or maybe it does have a use 
Um, if you want to do a wave dash out of shield, you can't just hold shield and then jump while holding shield. So directly jumping out of shield and do the wave dash. Or else you'll do like an aerial, like a nair. Or if you jump back, you might do a back air. You have to shield, but then drop shield and then do it. So I was just showing that real quick for anyone who was interested in doing wave dash out of shield specifically. Um, so you want to drop shield and then you can do it. Otherwise, you'll get an aerial like I did just there. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the main point of this video is just to show you if you do want to do the perfect ultimate wave dash, make sure you're pressing Z after the jump or during the jump squat um, instead of R or L. So that's the most perfect way to buffer uh, smash ultimate wave dash. If you like the video, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.